Good morning. Welcome to day five for the manifesting challenge. And you know, I want to welcome you here and congratulate your yourself for being here. Give yourself a pat on the back. You know, I've been thinking about all the people that I've talked to in the last while and have told me how they always wanted to write a book, but they just kept putting it off. Or they wanted to lose weight and they just could not seem to you know, break the code. And then there's other people that really wanted to create a relationship, but they keep putting it off or making an excuse for one reason or another. And what I've realized and wanted to share is it's not an issue that they would do it because most of the clients I work with are, are, are successful, really smart. And it wasn't an issue of them not being able to manifest it. It was an issue of them not being able to have the energetic component or not understanding what's sabotaging them from taking those steps. So it's really an aspect of leadership. It's, it's an aspect of you not being able to take the action or the commitment to yourself. You know, there's three things that are super important in when we come to manifesting. The first thing is the B, then we have to do, and then we can have it. So being a particular vibration, being in alignment, being honest with what it is that you really, really want, right? And then it's taking action towards that one thing that you're looking to create. And then you can receive it or have it as we talked about it in the previous discussions. So we set the energy, we take some action, and then we can receive. And some of us can't receive big enough because we, our belief systems are blocking it. So back to, have you ever made a vision board? And I don't know about you, but I've created them. And a year later, or when I'm cleaning up the garage, I find it. And I'm like, I created a couple things on there that was a pleasant surprise. But there were a lot of things on my vision board that didn't manifest. And I've got friends and know people that have created everything on their vision board. And so what is that? So I can say to the, you this is there's a disconnect in what I believed in and an energetic aspect to me, how much I could have of that vision. It's, it's, it's an energetic, a belief system, uh, a knowingness, a trust in myself, in my vision, perhaps. So I was not in alignment with myself in order to be able to create that. So the most important thing here that I could leave or impart on you is it's practice. It takes practice and commitment to yourself, putting yourself first. And I can honestly say by me committing to being here for you, I've committed to my one incredible thing. You might think it's for you. Yes, it is. I'm committed to you having it, but you got to show up. You got to practice. I created the tools, the live training for you. There's five days up there on my website under the manifesting challenge. One incredible thing right on my homepage. So go there, sign up, and you can start the practices immediately. They'll be there until the end of September, September 26th through 30th. I'll do another five days live where you can jump in, join me live in the group where I'll be guiding you. First, we've got to clear the energetic blocks that are keeping us from being grounded, from being present, from being able to receive inspiration in ideas, um, energy, focus. We have to have and create that first. And as we get inspired, we're able to take action, take the right action, take the appropriate steps towards achieving our goal. And then we manifest, have it in its full glory, right? So I invite you to, you know, commit to yourself every single day to give yourself the practice. I do my practice. I find it's best in the morning because I'm more clear, more alert. And it's amazing. You know, Nicola was sharing with me the other day how she tried to do the practices at night and she just kept falling asleep. And so I noticed that's a pretty common thing, unless you're a night owl, And but I'm more fresh and more alert. So when I do it first thing in the morning, I'm more inclined to stick with it throughout my, my, my set time and with fewer distractions and or my mind's not bouncing around, oh, go do this, go do that, and don't forget that. So turn off your ringer. Um, focus on your meditation, meditative practice, and I promise you 
you will start seeing yourself um, show up, respond differently, people approaching you differently, opportunities showing up and in wonderful ways. Okay. So I will um, toast to your manifesting your one incredible thing. And, and join me now for a chat with Rebecca, where she shared all of her manifestations over the last couple of months of being part of one incredible thing, the manifesting challenge, and how she's manifesting job opportunities that are blowing her mind, okay? Making six-figure income in a really short amount of time. Stay tuned for that.